Hi. Hello, beautiful people. Hi, 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 guys. Uh, this is a very interesting moment. This is another interesting episode on the Nonya Richie show. And right here with me, I have uh, a very beautiful guest. She's really going to help me out, and I'm going to thank her a whole lot for this. Uh, in the name of Skyline Mana. Hi. Hello, hi. everybody. Hi. Okay, so okay. it seems that we're going to be having an interaction session today. We're going to be having a discussion. Okay. And feel free to join with your comments and, of course, your likes. Okay, okay today, um, the question okay. or the discussion up for grabs is... <clears throat> it's more of a discussion, not like a question. Okay. Uh, it's girls' attitude towards marriage while in the university. All right, now, right. basically, um, at this point in time, we need to understand something that we are we we are at that point where a lot of girls feel that if you're in your final year and you haven't found the man that is <laughs> going to love you unconditionally, okay. is going to um, give you that beautiful traditional wedding, yeah, buy you the very big be, batch wedding, yes, introduce your course mates and everything. If you don't have a beautiful ring, you haven't then, started, yes, you and you know that's a fallacy on its own. Uh, trust me, this. Oh, uh, um, okay, um, Miss Kai, I have a I have a very important question right here for you. Um, okay, is it wrong for a student to be thinking of marriage while in school? Like, is it wrong for a student to be thinking about marriage while in school? Well, what do you have to say about that? <clears throat> it's not wrong for you to think about it, but I need to understand that right. your twenties they're for you, okay? Mm-hmm. They're not. They're not. The, the, that's not the time for you to actually, um, you know, take Beauty. drastic um, decisions. You know, okay. you have to chill. You just have to calm down. Your twenties are for you. I'm not discouraging anyone. If you found a husband in your twenties, if you found him in the university, <laughs> I am happy for you. Thumbs up. Well, I pray I everything works out for you. But what I'm trying to say, in essence, is that. At this point in your time, this is the time where you need to find yourself. This is the time where you need to explore okay. what you like. Mm-hmm. How do you know what you like? How do you know he's the one yeah. when you haven't seen the one? When you, you haven't gone into the you world and gone the, into the world, right? Yeah, you haven't gone into the world and you've not seen like the majority of men. He okay. might just be the one in the many. But when you go out there, you see that there's so many options available to you. You know, <laughs> at that point. Okay, um, I, I, <laughs> I really, I, I really buy into her discussion. Because right, uh, okay, I, I'll use myself as, as an example. Okay. Um, um, I'm a final year student of the Department of Communication Arts, and um, in that I'm a final year student. I'm really not thinking about marriage right now. No, I mean it's a bad I. thing though, but because uh, I haven't finished my my year, I haven't built up my GPA as I expected. Because I know my mom always told me you have to be a first class student, and I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Trust me. <laughs> um, so right now, it's all about my GP. It's all about me finishing. It's all about my projects. You haven't even gone for service yet. Right. You haven't even gone for service. You, you, that's you, know, you, you need to have, have anything mind. to do. You're not doing anything right now. So I, I think myself, I, I, the marriage thing is gonna come later, right? But for now, I think you need to face your studies. Like, get something doing. Like, get something doing for yourself before you think about marriage. You're gonna get married, but just hold on, chill, have fun. Please yourself. allow the people in their thirties to look for husbands. Allow those exactly. ones to, in their late twenties to, to start struggling for. At this point in time, you need to find yourself. You need to stand on your feet. You need to be more of an asset to your husband okay. than a liability. Please let me put this out there: right. a woman who owns a shop, who is making money from a shop, who is uneducated, okay. is more of an asset to her husband than you, who is like the okay. graduate and you don't have a job. You're not bringing anything to the table. You are more of a liability. You're oh. that's rubbish. Okay? Ah, she said that. She said that. She said that out loud. Out loud. <laughs> I wouldn't think they're likely with her though. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you for that. Uh, Miss Kai, I have another question for you. Okay. Do parents have a role to play in all of these? Like our parents? Yes. Of course they are our parents. Yeah. They will have the, a role. Oh my, okay, let or me... is it just your, de- your, your decision? No, no. They're the ones who brought you into this world. In fact, okay. sometimes they are the ones who pay your school fees. So you owe this allegiance oh, to them. Now parents, if you're watching this out there, sometimes you're not trying. You're putting so much strain on, on, on your, your daughters. You, I, I know. You're like, okay, fine. Okay, in a situation whereby my parents are like um you hear parents say something like i don't want to see her see you with any man you're too yeah, young and they everything say that. so when you when she reached 26 why are you asking her for a husband where is she going to manufacture that husband from she's gonna like bring it down I, i'm not saying that you should force, but at the same time you need to understand that mm-hmm. um, you give them space to express themselves as they become older as they become adults they're all you need grown to up, right? yes they're all grown up I, I believe they should know what the um what is good what is right what for they them. should be doing yeah yes. right you yeah know, because i think some of the pressure may come from the parents when they start when girls start thinking that by the time I'm 25, my father will be asking me, mm, okay. hmm, where's that man? Where Where is the man that's supposed to marry you? You'll not come and pack away from this house. Yeah, you're eating um, the food <laughs> I, I'm making for you. And you know, all these things.
things contribute. It's psychological, you know. Okay. I'm not a medical so student. I'm not a therapist, but I, I know that it affects, adds to that. it affects the, the girl. You know, you're, st you're, you're starting to think of things that shouldn't be your she's business under pressure. at that she, point. A teenager, really your, your early 20s, that should not be your concern. Oh, so okay. parents have a big role to play. Do not put pressure on your on your kids on marriage. Okay, that okay. that's not important. That's not paramount. Help them build their careers. Yeah, right. Help them become First. a better version of themselves, and okay. then you can say, "I've done a good job as a parent." Okay, right? guys. Right. Okay, right, that's good. Okay. Um, I hope you guys are having fun with this thing <laughs> because she really has a whole lot to say. So just just hold on there and grab everything she has to say. Right. All right. Um, Miss Guy. Um. Okay, you've said everything about the marriage thing, um, not thinking about marriage when you're in university, face your studies yet. Okay. okay. What about if you're faced with a prospective husband? What about if you're faced with a learned person, okay. like a good prospective husband, he has all the takes, he has all the finances, all the houses and everything, you know, we all ladies, we really need like a wolf, you know? uh -uh. You don't <laughs> We wouldn't go for less, trust me. So, if you're faced with all these things and... Um, how do you handle the situation? What's going to be your opinion? What's going to be okay, your, here's your this, advice? Let me tell you, young woman who is faced with this problem. If you okay. have a man, someone who is saying, I want to marry you, and he's financially secured and everything, okay. say no. Oh. Because, <laughs> yes, you have to. <laughs> that was direct. You, need, that was you direct. need to enrich yourself. If okay. You cannot go into marriage without content. Marriage is not for babies. You're not... It's not about the wedding. Yes, because people are thinking wedding, not marriage. Marriage is forever. For those of you who actually plan to be in it forever, who don't want any cases of divorce <laughs> yes because okay. this is not a child's play you need to be super what you, have, you need to ask yourself okay this guy has it all what do i have to bring to the table mm -hmm. you need to enrich yourself you need to the best kind of security you can give is the one that comes from yourself you're self-secure mm -hmm. that uh, in the home you're not going to be asking him, baby i need 15 hours to go and buy salt oh, maybe i need 300 hours to, to buy sanitary pads maybe i yours. need the the, the 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 pta money for the ch children <laughs> is 1000 hours you want to buy your, 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 your hair, hair your clothes no and you should be that self-sufficient woman you have to be rooted first in what right? you're doing right you, you know, need to be that self-sufficient woman exactly. that your husband can look and be like you know i don't need your husband you shouldn't need to ask hmm. stuff from your husband okay. you should be able to know that my wife is self-sufficient okay this one i'm giving it to her i'm not giving it to her because she doesn't have okay, i'm giving it to her because i'm the man the head of the family exactly. and i'm trying to make my wife look beautiful like this is my wife okay oh, so she, if you're she, faced with this stopping. problem I, I don't know for no no may have something to say about yeah, that you need, but to, you say. need to say no you need to chill you need to make yourself a better version of yourself i'll always say that make yourself grounded get a job okay okay um <laughs> in, in, you haven't asked my my, my own oh, oh i'm sorry please. okay my, my my own opinion though um if you're faced with a prospective husband okay. when you're still in university it doesn't it doesn't go for everybody right uh it depends on you it depends on what you're doing some students really do have something to do like some of them do work Okay. And the school, right? So if you if you're the kind of person, if you know you are ready for marriage, because some people you really are, are they, they, some of them are ready. Okay. While some of them are not. Some of us are kids. You know, some, some people might think they are ready. Well, you know, yeah. it becomes it comes from the mind. You're like, yeah. okay, I'm ready. Besides, look at me. Uh how old am I? I'm in my early twenties. It'd be so exactly. nice to have exactly. a husband and a car and all of those benefits no, and no, being no, called no, but, auntie but my classmates and all of but that. But trust me, if you if you really think you are ready for it and you can go through the whole life time thing then go for it go right for it. go for it once you have something to do that's her in opinion. as much as they are yeah that's her he's a prospective husband he has everything it takes for him to take care of you he's the head of the family so, right? so, okay but no, you should have something I'm to do so you'll be able to take care of yourself like I'm no? pushing this to you. So, okay. as you are, if you have a job now, let's say okay. you have a paying job, okay. and a man comes to you right now, now as young as you are, okay. you, you'd say yes. As young as I am. Well, I'm not as young as I am. <laughs> but, uh, um, okay, no, well, I wouldn't say yes. In my own, like, my own side, I wouldn't say yes because, uh, as I said earlier, I'm, I'm not ready for marriage yet. Uh, right. I'm still trying to do something for myself right now, like we are all doing. All if I, if I have a paying job have, and someone you know, comes to me and is like, okay, Skyla, I'd like to marry, you'd have to chill. Yeah, I and there's the point in my career I'd like to get to because sometimes yeah, marriage to some, limits you, you okay. and you need to understand this. If you're actually planning on going far in your career, if you're planning on doing something big with yourself, sometimes uh, marriage could be a limit to you. So you need to achieve these things uh, so that when you marry the man, you know that, yes, I have achieved something. When okay. he says, okay, uh, you came and messed me with money, you can be like, I may not be able to be as rich as you are, right. but I have prospects. And that is what should count for. Have self-esteem in yourself. Have self, I don't even, self-love for okay. yourself. If you, <laughs> oh, you see, so I, today I, I, fun. I told you, she has said it all. <laughs> she, she's really going to blow your mind. If, she, if you're going to keep her here, she's going to talk like, so let's <laughs> 
So um, thank you. You hurt thank my you, feelings. Sky. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Miss Kyla, for it's this really wonderful nice opportunity uh, for us to hear from you, from, from uh, all your advice. All right. Um, thank you, guys. I hope you guys had fun. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>